Well, good morning, YouTube. It's a beautiful day out here. I'm getting out a little bit on the late side, but I was out late last night, went and rode my bike, and uh, took the fuel pump out of Phil's pickup for him, but I forgot my camera at home, so I didn't get any of that. I've had uh, some questions about why my videos are slowing down, and... Uh, that's the only major reason is because we just finished up haying here <laughs> number one number two I've been in machining classes all this week I've been taking machining courses so I can be a machinist but so I haven't been getting in the house till late by the time I get in I really just don't feel like doing hardly anything to be honest, you know, except for going to bed and eating. But, so I've tried to keep the videos rolling, but there's only so much that I'm doing that's even worth videotaping. And So, um, the other comment I had along the week was about the Bronco. Now I'm going to, for those of you that didn't catch the video, we'll fire it up and I'll let you hear what we got. Uh, you can obviously hear that there is a problem. Now the problem fluctuates with oil pressure and oil temperature so I'm pretty sure it's not uh, flex plate. I had really hoped somebody had mentioned that it could be a flex plate, a loose flex plate. And I thought, well, you know, that kind of sounds like like a flex plate. And so it's not that. But anyway, somebody made a comment about the Bronco and how we must just be all kinds of rich because uh, we're going to ventilate that block. And I'll tell you right now that the idea was never to ventilate this block. The idea was never to blow up this block. You can talk to the Harry Hungarian. He had asked me to uh, to try and salvage this block so we could rebuild another one. Because both of us really want to rebuild a uh, 400 modified Ford. So the plan for the Bronco is, as of now, I've got a line on a 460, but I got a... It sounds like it's up in Bismarck. So, Bismarck, North Dakota, that's about... Ah, uh, heck, I don't even know. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's like... 300 miles from here uh, but anyways the idea is to go get that motor and put a 460 in this and then build a 400 to either put back in it or because uh, I fully expect a 460 to go up they have weak bottom ends and they won't take the kind of abuse that Roman and me have dished out to this Bronco high revs and things like that but at any rate and I've had some questions about my new car my dude, new daily driver, the Lincoln Continental. So here it is, the motor that uh, somebody gave me for building the motor in that pickup. Like I've said before, it sure was nice for somebody to pay, to pay me to build my own motor. But here it is, it's green, it's got a 3.8 liter, runs like a champ, got a lot of miles on it, but it doesn't really seem to matter. It's got the digital display. Don't know if you can see that. Well, it looks like you probably can. 174,544 miles. Just put my Sirius in yesterday. So I got my Sirius and my CD player. It's got a, got a pretty good sound system in it, really. It's got the JBL Premium sound and, and holy crap. Oh, that's my air ride. My air ride's pumping up the front end. <laughs> I could feel the car moving. What the heck? But really, the only problems I can find with this car is the headliner is trashed. I gotta redo that, and I'm trying to talk Kaylee into letting me do a leopard print, but she's not going for it so far. I'll keep working on her. And uh, that, and then this corner of the seat. It's just whoever had this car didn't take very good care of it. I gotta get it all shampooed and cleaned up. It's kind of a wreck as far as cleanliness goes. 
But at any rate, you know, what are you going to do? So, it's got the alloy wheels, and it's got every option they offered except for the front window defroster and the sunroof. And I think there was one other option that it doesn't have, but other than that, it's got every single option. It's a really beautiful car to drive. Just runs a little, a little V6, but gets up and boogies pretty good. I get about 24 miles to the gallon, which isn't bad for this a car this size. So I'm not complaining. Um, <laughs> yeah, but anyways. So we got a couple things to get done today. Basically, what I'm going to do all day is I'm going to work on the shed. I don't know that there's going to be anything really worth videotaping there, but I guess I still got to fix the shed. First, I got to go over and check cows, though, make sure the water's good. So we'll head on over there and do that. Take uh, take the trusty black and red Ford. I got it tuned up. Oh, that's one thing I didn't mention about the Lincoln. I uh, was running a little rough when I first got it. Had to replace the starter because apparently the starter was going out and somebody did not fix it and then it chewed up the flywheel. So now it makes noise. I got a good starter in it, but now it makes noise when you start it. But it starts every time. But it was running a little rough, so I pulled the plugs out. And they looked nasty as all shit. Just terrible. All rounded off and burned into the electrodes real bad. So I replaced the plugs. Started running a little bit better. And uh, checked the cap and rotor, and I got to replace those. And I replaced the air filter with a used one that I had that was in really good shape. And then uh, picked up a fuel filter the other day. Figured, ah, oh, shit, well, I better put it in, you know. And so I pulled the old fuel filter out. Could not physically blow through it. I thought, what the hell is this crap? So, essentially, <laughs> sad as it is, that poor car just has not been maintained. I mean, obviously, from the seat and the headliner and all that nonsense. <laughs> Loomers apparently don't know how to take care of a good vehicle. But regardless, we're not going to dwell on that. I got it now, so it's going to live a nice, happy life. See if we can't take a little bit better care of it. So, that's what's been going on. And, uh, yeah. So, onward ho. Time to get some work done. Fire up the pickup first. Oh, pump it. Pump it. I think I might be out of gas, actually. In fact, that wouldn't surprise me one iota. Yep, yeah, well, guess I better go get some gas. <laughs> 